Well, it's time for another video. Um, if you're watching this, click the subscribe button, share the video, share the link. I'd like to get the subscriber totals up. Um, yesterday I was pretty depressed, um, slept most of the day. Um, the night before, I watched this YouTube channel. Uh, the girl's name was Ross Sammy. And she does mental health videos as well. And as I was watching a couple of them, I looked at the subscriber. Well, first I looked at how many views, and some of these had like 30,000 and 50,000. And then I looked at her, uh, you know, subscribers, and she had like over 10,000. And uh, I'm not going to lie, I was a little bit jealous over that. I mean, you know, some of my videos have like 32 views. And, um, you know, I certainly have nowhere near 10,000. But, you know, for the people that are subscribed to my channel, I do appreciate it. And hopefully I'll start getting more. But she talked about her own mental health issues. And um, she was very attractive, um, 27 years old. Um, I would... I. I definitely do her. Um, the, uh, you know, it's interesting, you know, a guy with mental illness, um, you know, that is looked at as negative and a turnoff, but you know, when it comes to, you know, attractive women, um, guys don't care. You know, guys are just thinking about, you know, sex. Um, they don't care if they have mental illness and they'll just brush it off. Um, that's one of the advantages to be being a attractive person. But uh, anyways, um, some of her videos were pretty good and she talked about her own mental health. And um, I guess, you know, the other thing I think about is, you know, I don't know about you, but with me, when I see somebody that's attractive, I often think that, uh, you know, their life must be perfect. They can't have any problems and um, oftentimes that's just not the case. But uh, I watched uh, her latest video and, um, you know, she said fuck in there a couple of times. And I was reading some of the comments and some guy put in there, you know, her videos would be a lot better if she didn't say, you know, fuck. And um, I completely disagree. I think she should say fuck, and I think she should say fuck as much as what she wants to. And uh, that's the one thing about my channel. Um, you know, if you put in comments, feel free to say fuck, cunt, asshole, whatever you want. Um, you know, those words are fun. And uh, so feel free. I don't take offense. Anyways, this girl was really attractive. Um, Hard to believe she had mental health issues, um, but like I said, I would definitely do her. Her and I, you know, we should do like a, you know, if she ever sees this video, her and I should do some sort of an internet uh, radio program. You know, she could be the more serious person and I would be the, uh, more of the smart ass. Um, and then the other day, you know, since I'm on, you know, attractive people, I was, I was watching this video the other day. Uh, or movie on, on Netflix. There was an actress on there and, you know, I googled her and there was a comment that she made that, uh, you know, one of the turnoffs was uh, people who feel sorry for themselves. And, um, now I'm never going to meet this person and it shouldn't bother me, but it does. Um, simply, I guess, um, <clears throat> I think people who are attractive have life far easier than what people who are unattractive do. Um, I certainly don't view myself as attractive. I think I'm pretty ugly. I've always viewed myself that way. I think a lot of people could would say that my views and my perceptions are feeling sorry for myself, but I don't think they are. I think they're just matter of fact and states you know, I state what I think and believe, and I base all that on how I, I guess, how the world interacts with me. And um, so I think attractive people have it far easier. I think there's studies that show uh, attractive people 
have it easier. I think they get more pay. I think people are more likely to help somebody that's attractive over somebody who's ugly. Um, you know, it's easier for them to get involved in relationships and, um, you know, if I was, you know, I'm sure my life would be different if I was attractive and I was an actor and I was in TV shows and popular and people wanted to be around me and people wanted my autograph and I was making $30,000 an episode, um, I'd, I'd probably be pretty happy. Um, I think it'd be kind of hard to, be, you know, how could anybody be sad in that instance? And um, so, anyways, uh, that's kind of where I'm going with this video. Um, you know, Ross Sammy, just to kind of go back to her, you know, she was talking about, she had one video about mental hospitals, and I've been in them as well. And, um, you know, my advice to anyone, if you ever think you have to go into a mental hospital, try to go during the week. Earlier in the week is better, like on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Um, don't go, like on a late Friday night or over the weekend. Incredibly boring. Um, Generally, they don't have any groups or anything like that over the weekends. You end up just sitting around. It's really boring. Go during the week. At least they have groups and therapy sessions and keeps your mind occupied. But uh, anyways, who knows? Maybe Ross Samuel will get wind of this video. I'm going to put her name in the title. Um, maybe uh, she'll check out my channel. Maybe she'll subscribe to my channel. If she does, I'll subscribe to hers. But uh, I think she should keep making the videos. I think she should keep saying fuck and use any type of language she wants. And um, she's doing something right because she has over 10,000 followers. So anyways, uh, but I guess the moral of this story is I think attractive people have it far easier than uh, ugly people. And... That's just my point of view. So, if you're watching this and made it all the way through, subscribe, share the link, share the video, get me as many subscribers as what you want. Um, as long as I keep adding people, um, it makes these worthwhile to do. And, and who knows, maybe Ross Samuel will watch this and she'll get in touch with me and say, you know what, let's do an internet radio show or uh, something on YouTube. How fun would that be? Anyways, uh, hope everyone has a good night, and uh, hopefully I'll have a video up again sometime next week. Thanks. Bye.